Okay, so the problem today is that the iPhone appears to have an issue in its mail application removing email from the server once that email has been removed from the inbox in the iPhone mail app. Now there is a setting uh, that allows you to do that and we'll just take a quick look at that in case you're unfamiliar with where it is. I'm going to look at the settings. And I'm going to choose a mail account. I'm going to choose advanced and you can see that there is an option here delete mail from server when removed from inbox okay so that would lead you to believe that if you have some email in your inbox to go and delete it that it would immediately be removed from the server and therefore if you go to a uh, mail client on your computer uh, you wouldn't be able to get those emails uh, and the problem everyone is uh, complaining about uh, is true and I don't need to demonstrate it here I'm going to demonstrate why that problem occurs um, and just a little hint here it is a problem with the Apple email application despite uh, what Apple told me after spending an hour on the phone with them in tech support uh, when they told me that essentially <clears throat> it was a problem with GoDaddy who happens to be my provider but uh, there are lots of uh, providers out there uh, who apparently have the same problem now, in my case, this is a, a pop email account, and uh, so you can see that uh, on the Apple support communities, there are a lot of people uh, talking about it there, uh, over on GoDaddy, uh, there's a lot of people talking about it there. Um, and uh, went to YouTube and there was a video there that said how to truly delete the emails from your iPhone and it explained that once you removed it from your uh, inbox that you should then go to your trash and remove it from your trash as well and that was the magic bullet and it turns out that that's complete voodoo that doesn't work either uh, it works sometimes but not all the times uh, and what we're about to see, uh, you'll understand why that's the case. It just uh, happened <laughs> to be. Um, remote packet capture for iOS devices. Uh, go to useyourloaf.com and that's the uh, that's the thing. You just want to go to use your loaf and search for remote packet capture and basically this little article was was very enlightening it showed me how to use a USB cable to connect my iPhone to my computer and then to use uh, Xcode to discover my iPhone and to discover the identifier for my iPhone uh, and then Basically, uh, you do some commands to uh, set up a, a listener, uh, a virtual interface on the computer, which will be listening for that UDID, that identifier that uh, we found over in Xcode. You set that up, and you'll be able to uh, run a TCP dump, and that will actually show you all of the packets uh, where they're coming from, where they're going to, and uh, a few more options there, and you can actually see the contents of those packets. 
Uh, here's a request going out for an HTTP uh, request, for instance. Okay, so uh, using, using that uh, alone, uh, I have already set up that virtual listener so that my iPhone, uh, when I uh, do the TCP dump, my password here <clears throat> and if I go to my phone uh, and let's just let's just do something here let's try to get it so that you can see what I'm doing I'm, I'm gonna hit refresh on the phone here and you'll see a whole bunch of traffic going across there. So that's that's the phone talking to the server. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so what we're interested in is the uh, delete messages. Uh, the delete messages uh, are D E L E, and then a space and the number of the email, uh, which, which number, which email in the list is being deleted. So, <clears throat> so that we don't have to search through all of this garbage, uh, I'm going to uh, do one extra thing, and I'm going to run the TCP dump, and I'm going to pipe it through grep, which searches for strings, and uh, search for the string D-E-L-E. -E. So I'm going to do that, and... <clears throat> I spaced down a little bit there so we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to delete this email. Boop. And do we see anything? No. And delete this email. In fact, I'm going to delete that email. See any messages yet? No. Okay. Let's delete this email. Let's delete this email. Okay, so there's four emails deleted, right? Still no messages. Now let's watch this magic thing here. I'm going to hit the refresh button. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Whoa, hey, what do you know? Delete one, delete two, delete three, delete four. So only after I pressed, pressed the refresh button three or four times on the email client did it actually send the requests to the server to remove those emails. This is the problem, folks.